Hello, hello, beautiful, blessed beings. Got some sage going for us, as I like to do. I want it to pop on to talk about all that's going on in the universe. There is a lot of goings-ons right now. Like, the goings-ons are strong. So let's, let's break it down. Let's just get right into it and break it down. Give you some little cleansing smoke here. So we're all nice and cleansed, because we need that. I also have a blue candle lit. Can you see that there? Yep, blue candle lit to help support my throat chakra. So I'm communicating all of this properly to you, but let's let's just dive right in and break it down and go through all the goings-ons that are going on in the cosmos, because it's a lot. And I know a lot of people, I've been hearing from a lot of people with posts and things that they've been talking about is just getting all up in arms about all of the retrogrades. Like we've got five planets and Chiron in retrograde right now. And a planet being in retrograde is nothing to be afraid of, so to speak. It's like pulling a tarot card in reverse. It doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. It doesn't mean that at all. So let's go through it. First, we're gonna start with the sun, simplest one, sun being in Cancer. The sun is that expression, the extension of your emotional self, who you are, your core being, who you are. Now, with the sun being in Cancer, that who you are is tied in deeper to your emotions. You're gonna be more outwardly sensitive. Even if you have no cancer in your chart, you're gonna be more out, outwardly sensitive. Your intuition is gonna be increased and it'll be right out there on the surface. It'll guide things that are in association with your self-esteem, your self-worth, and it will also soften your masculine side. So if you're someone who has a lot of masculine energy with the sun being in cancer, it gets softened a bit. Now the moon, the moon is in Capricorn and we have a beautiful full moon today. Today is July 16th, that's the day that I am recording this. And we have a full moon in Capricorn and a partial lunar eclipse tonight. So let's, let's break that down. The moon you know is feminine energy and Capricorn is all about success. Being success, winning, achievement, what you can do, what things you can do, what goals you can reach, achieve, and prosper with. So now, with this partial lunar eclipse that's coming on with the moon being in Capricorn, that gives us a sense of switching things up, switching up the way in which we view success and how we go about obtaining success. So that's the energy that you're going to get from here. So don't be afraid of this energy. Don't be afraid of it. It's just an indication for you to think things over, to rethink some things. All right, so now next, going on to Mercury. We've got Mercury's retrograde in Leo. And I know everyone, Mercury retrograde. Ah! Cool out. Cool it out. Cool it out. You know, Mercury is in charge of like intelligence and communication, to simply put those things. And now with it being retrograde in Leo, it's just going to give you a pause to think before you speak. Just going to give you a pause to monitor what you're thinking about. To monitor, is this thought helping me or is this thought hindering me? Is what I'm about to say beneficial or should I just sit down and shut it up? That's all this Mercury uh, retrograde in Leo is going to do for us. It's going to help us to edit, edit down, edit down our communication skills and not be so boisterous with it because Leo wants to be that loud, boisterous leader. But with it in connection with Mercury retrograde, it's like a pause and edit down of that as let me think about this before I fly off the handle. So now we've got Venus in Cancer. I love that Venus is in Cancer. I don't know if you can feel that, but it feels fantastic and amazing. I think I did a guided meditation on my YouTube for Venus in Cancer. I'll have to look at that. I think I did when it first, when she first transitioned. If, if not, I will. I got you. I got you because it's just such a beautiful energy to connect with. Venus is all about love, your love of self, your love of others, beauty, how you see beauty and cancer is all about similar things your intuition love your sensitivity so that's just heightened so like that can you feel the love tonight that's what keeps coming into my mind with knowing that venus is in cancer it's like can you feel the love you should feel the love through your family through strangers love of humanity love of self feel that love and allow that love to guide you because it will definitely help you navigate through the retrograde planets so now 
got Venus, Mars. Mighty Mars is in Leo. This is like a one-two punch with Mars being in Leo. Because, you know, Mars is all about aggression and being aggressive, having that competition, your drive. With it paired with Leo, it's like you're going to be the best. You're going to win. 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 But now, with Mercury retrograde in Leo, when you do win, not a good idea for you to brag and boast about it and say, ah, oh, you suck and I'm great. You suck and I'm great because mm, that's going to cause tension between people and we want these things to be we want the love we want to feel the love so it's okay with you being competitive and wanting to win and wanting to be the best be the best at what you do I'm all for that today's a number eight vibration you want to master your skills you want to do that and that Mars and Leo energy is excellent excellent for honing in your skills and being the best at what you do there's no problem with being the best in your craft you don't have to go around and brag about it and that's what Mercury and Leo is letting us know there the Mercury retrograde in Leo is letting us know there you don't need to be an ass about it you really really don't just be the best be first do you true be authentically you and be humble about it be humble that Mars and Leo is gonna want you to be boisterous with it but tap into that Mercury retrograde in Leo to bring that back in so you're not a dickhead basically so now next planet we're getting now to the outer planets we're getting more outside we're going to Jupiter Jupiter is retrograde in Sagittarius Jupiter is all about expansion how are you expanding luck prosperity optimism your lookout for the future and how optimistic you want your life to be with Jupiter being retrograde in Sagittarius it's bringing like a stilled energy in which you really want to discover yourself and what you view as success. Not what other people think success should be for you, but what do you view as success? What do you think success looks like? What does success look like for you? That's what this Jupiter retrograde and Sagittarius energy is going to give us. So you're going to feel like you're at a standstill, but really you're at a standstill just because you need to reevaluate what you actually want, what you actually want to expand into. So now we've got Uranus and Taurus. Uranus is direct in Taurus. Uranus is all about freedom and seeing the bigger picture and humanitarianism, service. So with that being in Taurus, it's Taurus is all about what am I investing in? What am I using? Am I using every bit of what I have? So it's, um, am I using all of my resources to the best of their ability? And am I using them not just to help myself, but to help all of humanity? It's that like humanitarian services with sharing of the resources. Like you'll get pissed off knowing that you have this and this, you could share this with this other person. Like that's that, and that energy is perfectly beautiful and great to go along with all the rest of that's all the rest of that what's going on in the cosmos. So we've got Neptune retrograde in Pisces. Neptune is all about your psychic expression, your imagination, and Pisces is about the same thing. It's all about your psychic connection, your intuition, how you perceive. How you perceive things in the world, your ability to go with the flow, your ability to feel things out. And with Neptune being retrograde in it, some things may feel like obligations. You may feel like it's your duty to use your psychic abilities and gifts to help out humanity with that energy from Uranus and Taurus being there to help you out as well. We've got Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. Pluto is all about death, rebirth, sex, power and control. And with it being retrograde in Capricorn, your need and want to succeed in all of those things will be heightened, but you won't be reaching that type of success that you want. Like your transformation process may be going slower. You may be in a sexual lull. Like there may be things that are going on that you really wish would quicken up, would, would hurry up and go a little bit faster. It's okay because you're at the pace that you need to be at. That's where you're at because that Pluto and Capricorn energy is super, super strong. So that success of wanting power and all of those things, those can chill for a second. You really don't, you really don't need, need them right away. You can build upon them as time goes on. Now, I like to throw Chiron in the mix. We've got Chiron 
retrograde in Aries, which is all about choosing your battles and choosing them wisely. So do so, my beautiful blessed beings. Choose your battles, choose your battles wisely, and make sure that you are fighting for the proper causes and not just running off at the mouth. So I hope that was helpful for you, those little tidbits of explanations to really calm everyone down. Because when your energy is super heightened and high and you're going crazy and blah, 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 you're not flowing with the cycles of the cosmos. You're not flowing with them. So flow with them. So I hope that bit of information helps you to flow with the cycles of the cosmos. Please do share this video so we can all go through this together and prosper in all of the goings on together. Peace, love, and blessings, my beautiful beings. I love you all so much. Mwah. See you next time.